Welcome to the Oregon Coast. Today, we explore the Central Oregon Coast Range through a network of logging roads and forest service development roads. As you travel east from the Pacific Ocean, the sandy, rocky beaches give way to lush, old-growth forests. Red alder, Douglas fir, and Sitka spruce trees dominate the landscape, while various ferns, salal, and other grasses make up the underbrush. I was talking with some friends about overlanding, and I thought, well, why can't I do that? So, we took to the gravel to try our hand and see if this was something we would enjoy. So kick back and enjoy the scenery as we journey across a 50-mile stretch of the 58 road between the two coastal towns of Waldport and Florence in our improvised overland vehicle. Here we are, um, we're starting our overland trek. It's not really overland. I got a uh, stock Durango. And we're gonna try it out and see, uh, see how it does. This is a 2002 Dodge Durango, completely stock. It's four wheel drive with a 4.7 liter V8 engine. Now, this Durango sat in my front yard, not running for about a year. So naturally, I was a bit concerned as to how it would handle being taken out into the woods after so long. But so far, so good. The minor repairs I did seemed to have solved any issues and it was running smooth. Having grown up around Jeeps, driving out in the woods was nothing new, but the Durango handles much differently than a Wrangler. They make a very, very important stop. Coffee. The weather was perfect for this trip. Not too cold, not too warm. And there was hardly anyone else out on the trails. The fog rolled in and it was very peaceful to be surrounded by nature and just drive. And of course, enjoy some good coffee as well. Road is closed to protect wildlife and wildlife habitat. And it says motor vehicle access by permit only. And well, I don't have a permit. So in order to keep these places open, I'm gonna turn around, obey the law. This section of the Oregon Coast Range is managed by both state and federal agencies. Logging is a primary industry in the area and has been dating back to the early 1900s. The landscape itself is about 50 to 60 million years old, affected by heavy rainfall and millions of years of erosion, making the Central Coast Range a stunning area visually and geologically. We explored many of these side trails and found lots of options for dispersed camping. The roads were paved at times, but dirt in most places. Overall, I think the overlanding life might just be something we add to our list of adventures on this channel. very well and I was
was really enjoying being out in the woods. Having the basic gear was all I needed to get out and explore, and I had an awesome time driving these back roads. I know there are many upgrades that need to happen, but for now, this is what I have and what I will be using for future Overland adventures. You just don't get views like this anywhere else. So we're just getting ready to go on to our last and final section of this trip. It's been an absolute blast to have you guys along and look forward to quite a bit more of this whole overlanding thing in the future. Guys, I know you can't see him, but there's an owl right behind me. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on my first overland adventure. I know it was short, but there'll be plenty more where this came from. This is gonna be it for the trip today. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please please share with your friends and get out and explore you never know what's out there the trip ended with a beautiful drive on highway 101 back up the coast Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more overland adventures coming soon.